but the, but the common denominator continues to be stocks that are coming out of bottom channels, had really explosive moves, whether it was a week ago, three weeks ago, a month ago, and now they're finally starting to get their head above the water. Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to uh, another edition of uh, the AccessToTrader.com nightly wrap-up show. Hope everybody is doing well. Hope everybody had a good uh, trading session. Um, you know, just what do you, you know, it's a, it's a broken record, market strong. I mean, market strong, it's beyond comprehension. Um, every single time you think there's, you know, any type of pause in the market or potential uh, technical damage, or even if there is technical damage, the, mar the market kind of finds its way uh, to kind of rallying the troops, dare I say, hold the line. I know, too soon. Sorry. Sorry about that. Um, and kind of rally back, which is the most amazing part. And, and if you look at how the market has been really getting aggressive, they're, they're, they're just not melting up, you know, uh, 30 points on the Dow, 50 points on the Nasdaq. They're, they're really getting aggressive every single day. Two, 300 points on the Dow is like the new red, okay? Uh, the Nasdaq composite, you know, 50 to 100 points is like, it, it's, it's really is amazing. But the most amazing part of that is the majority of names who helped get the, the market structure to where it is last year and the year before are still not really participating on a day-to-day -day basis. So, um, you know, I came in very, very bullish, okay? If you guys remember on the, on the weekend update, I was very, very bullish about the tech space, right? The beta names. And we talked about, you know, these channels being put in on Friday. And I said, look, all they need to do is confirm. So if they confirm, you know, these things start waking up. So if Amazon confirmed its Friday channel, it can move higher. Never came close. Tesla had some news today about buying a billion dollars, billion and a half dollars worth of Bitcoin. You figure, you know what? Let, maybe it's going to get above this whole range right here from last week's high. It never did that. Um, Zoom that had a really big move on Friday, it put in a good structured rest. So I, I can't really put that in the same category as an Amazon uh, or a Tesla just because it's having a digestion day. It came out of the range here, put in an inside bar, which is very, very bullish. Uh, it held the breakout low uh, of Friday yesterday. So it's a very structural day. I do believe this probably rests one or two more days and maybe wakes up and starts attacking that 430 level. Um, the one name, if you've been watching kind of this broadcast, the one name I've been having this really on, off and on love affair with is NVIDIA, right? If this is your first time watching it, um, well, you know, welcome aboard. Uh, but if you've been watching this broadcast now for a long time, you know I've been trading channels within channels of NVIDIA. And for all you guys who have been watching this broadcast, you know that 560 number, it's probably subconsciously like tattooed on your brain. So that 560 number was incredibly, incredibly important for a long, long time. You can see these three tops uh, being made in supply. And today it finally came out, had this really majestic move. We'll talk about uh, the individual pivots in a second. But the same thing is kind of playing out every single day. For one NVIDIA that does very, very well, the rest of them don't do anything. Netflix still, you know, kind of underneath the channel. Apple, you say to yourself, well, maybe today it's going to come out. Maybe today. Hell, maybe tomorrow, right? You can see how tight this channel is forming. But the point is they're not going up as a tribe. They're going literally one by one. But... The point is, if you acknowledge their existence and acknowledge their upper channels, you can be ready for them every single day. The common, the common denominator that I see in this tape continues to be either stocks that had a really, really big move up and they're consolidating, ready to make another run. So, for example, uh, we covered uh, BZUN, right? We covered BZUN. Uh, on the weekend update, and I said, look at this chart. You know, it's, it's just had a big move, digestion, like three weeks of action. It is imminent. It is imminent. Is it the, is it the greatest uh, trading stock in the world? Is it the thickest? No, it's not. Um, I got long this thing off this 49 break. I sold it. My highest print was 50 bucks, uh, and now the thing is going higher. But, but this is kind of where the value is 
or the names that we talked about before, names that are coming out of really, really bottom channels. If you look at everything else that is kind of running, everything is running either some sort of crazy SPAC news, some crazy quote unquote pump, this, that, the other thing, but the, but the common denominator continues to be stocks that are coming out of bottom channels, had really explosive moves, whether it was a week ago, three weeks ago, a month ago, and now they're finally starting to get their head above water coming out of supply. So if you are looking from the macro point of view of the market, again, what is there really to talk about, right? How much can you, how much can you describe, you know, and how many ways can you describe this? Q's are strong, right? Q's are strong. Russell's at all-time highs, SPY's all-time highs, right? Diamond's all-time highs. That's not where the action is, or at least not the action where we're trying to concentrate every single day. We're looking for the ones that were great, then became crappy, and now potentially be great again. So if you look, for example, on a name like uh, AMD, not to say that it's great or crappy, but look at a name like AMD, right? And you can see that the same kind of potential, not that NVIDIA had, because NVIDIA had a three, three month kind of distribution. You could see how flat it was going, but you could see the channel developing and you could see three times has gotten rejected off the same area. One, two, three times, right? If this channel wakes up, look how much room it has. Now, does it have to wake up tomorrow? Of course not. Absolutely not. But at least we have to acknowledge that these channels are there. Uh, even a name like BYMD that had a really, really strong run right? Had a really monstrous run. And for the last one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, two 10, two weeks in a row has done uh, absolutely nothing. But, it, but again, if you look at a potential, what it can do again, maybe not tomorrow, maybe not the next day, maybe not ever. But the point is, if it starts getting above this whole channel here, maybe this thing wakes up, right? So Neo, for example, another name, Neo had this really, really big run. The whole EV space has been incredibly aggressive. And now you can see what you just visually, uh, you don't need to be the, the greatest technician in the world, but, but visually you can see how many times it got rejected off the same level. Once, two, three times a lady, right? Maybe the fourth time around finally gets this thing going. We saw um, some uh, $62 calls being driven, $63 calls being driven, no pun intended. We even saw a summertime bet I think somebody even bet the hundreds, if I'm not mistaken. So there's there's a lot of value still in this tape, but you have to put in the work. You have to get the research. So when these things do trigger and they start confirming, you're not the per person on social media talking about, hey, NVIDIA broke out today. No, NVIDIA broke out today, but it didn't break out where you're looking at it. By the time it hits the scanners, by the time you know it's in vogue as the hot stock of the day, you're paying up for this thing 15, 18 points. So it's very, very important to do the homework. It's very, very important to understand these things could take off at any time. Set your alerts, keep a you know, really attentive eye to where it potentially could go. Because again, if you're still chasing these hot stocks of the day, up 30, up 60, up 80, up 150%, that the higher probability that they're going to pull in on you and still be good technically are very, very good. If you are looking at the stock that potentially could break out, by the time social media scanners hit and all that good stuff, you're in a very pretty penny. And speaking of outrageous moves, like I always say, where's my, you ever seen the movie, Don't Mess with the, with the Zohan, right? When the guy turns around and goes, where's my Muchen Tuchen restaurant, right? And I always joke around. I go, how come I see all these, even if I, I don't really trade a lot of small cap stocks, but when I do, can a brother can get one of these moves? And finally, I got my Muchen Tuchen restaurant. We cover this. <laughs> the funny thing is we cover this on the weekend update. Uh, I had a runner. Uh, I had a runner. This thing just absolutely exploded. went up like 35, 40%. I still have a little, little piece. The only reason I have a, a little, little piece left is just because I'm so... Like, I'm so intrigued about all those guys that were buying those uh, February 19 expiration $5 calls. If this would give me one more move, it uh, would be great. But again, today was my Muchen Tuchen wrestling, so phenomenal uh, move there. So let's get, you know, let's get into uh, some pivots for today. For today, well, again, very, very aggressive day. Um, the, the one thing that, that still bothers me, I'm still trying to figure out, uh, why beta as a whole uh, doesn't want to make that big move. So let's talk about this. Uh, BZUN uh, 4875, 49. We talked about this on the weekend video. Uh, you know, I got long at 49. My highest sale was 50. I'm okay with that. Uh, it trades a little too thin and a little, it, it trades a little too thin and a little too slow for me. I know it sounds crazy, but 
it kind of does. It, it looks higher. It probably goes, you know, 52, 53, 55, but I just made the choice to kind of get out of it. But again, again it is what it is. A nice move on BZUN. Uh, this was definitely the trade of the day. Uh, NVIDIA 551, 552 needs to build. Uh, I got long at 553 on the second entry. Uh, 560 continues to be the macro area, and the video just went nuts. You're getting call buying through the roof today. Uh, the 600s are just all over the place. So here's the 553 wheat, 553 sneaky pivot. Here's the 560 range, and it closed pretty much at the high of the day. If everything goes well, you know, I, you know, does it have to follow through tomorrow? It'd be nice, but the point is, if it doesn't, if it does rest the next couple of days, you could see the pot of gold here. Uh, next area of measure potential is 587, and then going all the way up to this uh, 598 linear regression line. So congratulations! I know a lot of you guys are still long overnight. Amazon again. Here's my here's, here's my beef with this tape, right? Uh, huge move on Friday. Here's the Friday pivots, 400, 405 on uh, ZM. Uh, 421 needs to build. It just never built. Okay. It, 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 good, productive, structured day, but I would have loved to see a follow-through uh, in the name. Netflix, 555 needs to build. Macro, any close over 560. Guess what the high on the, on the day today was? That's what I'm saying. It's technical analysis is not subjective. It's, it's very, very specific areas. The high of the day was literally 555. So uh, technical analysis, guys. It's a great guide to reality, not fantasy world or where you think your stock should be or or needs to be. It's kind of where it is. So it, use it, uh, use it for common sense, um, common sense trading. So Netflix, and Amazon got nowhere close to uh, thirty three eighty. Uh, I, I still like the stock. We talked about this on the weekend update. Uh, Two dollars needs to build for all you small cap lovers. Keep an eye on it for the next couple of days. I don't have a position in it, but. Uh, you know, keep an eye on it. It's it, it's looking looking okay. Just it hasn't it can't get that close over two dollars, but it's looking okay. Uh, closing at one ninety eight today. Uh, Roku forty eight fifty forty nine. There was no volume. I mean, literally no volume in Roku today with a dollar spread. Uh, I passed on the trade. Stopped right at four forty nine. Just went went south. Uh, so huge move here on the video. Uh, Yelp right. Yelp uh, thirty seven needs to build. Here's Yelp, closed uh, at the highs, right? Here's Yelp, broke out above the 37 level, uh, went to almost 38. If it starts reclaiming 38 tomorrow, uh, should go higher, so keep an eye on that. Neo, uh, this is the number, right? This is the number here, needs to, uh, needs to confirm this area there. So I still like Neo, uh, BZUN, more highs. Again, I wish I was a little bit more liquid. Uh, here comes 50, got 50, crawling to new highs. That's kind of what it did. Um, and that's about it. And that's about it. So I, I think uh, I think the moral of the story is continue uh, to put in the work every single day. Don't just rely on it's a hot market. I'll find something. I'm going to log in at 920 at 930. I'm going to put on the hot stock. It's not the way it works. And if, and if, and if, if you are making money that way, just understand it's almost like fool's gold. Again, it's like hitting that slot machine once. For five dollars, making you know, making three hundred bucks, and all of a sudden you think you're a professional gambler. Do it again, right? Do it again. Do it again. Do it again. And the moral of the story is, this market is phenomenal right now. But but keep an open mind that gravity is real. It could come at any time. That's why we're not looking for stocks up here. We're looking for stocks down here that potentially could wind up here. Guys, God bless everybody. I love you all. Have a great night, and I'll see you tomorrow.